how would you say that the enzymes and the overall cleanse have helped you kind of come back into yourself? Yeah, I think um, as someone who's like suffered from a lot of gut issues in the past, um, and just constantly having, um, I guess, like symptoms of those gut issues, being able to like, yeah, wake up on day seven, day eight and just feel completely different. And that continuing on for like weeks, I think it's been about a month and a bit now. And I'm still feeling incredible. Like my gut health feels completely different. It's like shifted. Um, I think as well, when you do something so powerful that you wouldn't like, you know, it takes a lot of willpower to fast for seven days and, you know, you have to really know like your why for doing it. And I just kept coming back to that when I was getting or feeling challenged. I just kept asking myself, like, why am I doing this? And that sort of brought me back. Um, yeah, I guess you you just feel, I felt really empowered post cleanse that I got through it. So hope that answers your question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Experienced. Did you have a distinct moment that you felt was like, aha, like this is so much different than what I've ever experienced? Well, I got, I actually, when I was doing the liver part of the detox, I got a massive gallstone. You may have seen it or not in the like telegram group, but it was like that big. And for me, I was like, whoa, like that was inside me. And I just was like, it just felt like the most incredible release to know that that was out of my body and causing of like most probably a lot of like liver stagnation and like a liver issue. So yeah, I think that was for me, I was like, oh my God, this is epic. Like, and I'm now, I feel like I was really, I guess, hesitant to, well, not hesitant, but I felt a lot of resistance to doing the liver detox, like the olive oil. Um, but after that, I was like, when I was drinking it, I'm like, I'm never doing this again. And then as soon as I got the gallstone, I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing this like yearly. <laughs> like, too. And, yeah. Um, totally. Have you had any other experience with like cleansing and how would you say that this is different than um, other cleanses that you've experienced? I think other cleanses kind of just they fast you and obviously like body autophagy is great, but I love the fact that with Zen cleanse, you're actually putting the goodness back in whilst you're fasting. So you're getting those enzymes and we all know how incredible enzymes are for our health. So yeah, I've definitely done uh, like a juice fast before just once, but I didn't last very well on it. I don't think I had a reason enough, you know, I wasn't kind of like determined enough like I was with Zen cleanse. And then I did like another four day detox which was like this like powder and things like that but yeah I, I definitely felt like rejuvenated and like a bit brighter and had energy and everything but it just wasn't on the level that Zen cleanse was yeah it's just like a whole yeah as you guys say it's like the Rolls Royce of detox it really emptiness, you know because it's like yes, the, yeah. the seven day cleanse you have to sit with that feeling mm -hmm. you're releasing all the yeah. quite plaque and then you have four days or five days in between before you yeah. do another cleanse, like how would you how would you say you you sat with that feeling of of just being empty while being simultaneously full at the same time? Yeah, I think I definitely like struggled with the hunger, but it was definitely more of a mental battle. I think like thinking about it all the time. So for me, it really helped to like distract myself, get out in nature. Um, I liked working throughout it because it was giving me something to, you know, not being at home near the fridge and like thinking, oh, I could just have a little bit, you know. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah, those days in between, I think are quite vital, um, like after you've done the intestinal cleanse and then having those days of fasting before the liver cleanse just to give your body a bit of a break. I think your liver will respond so much better when you have been fasting. Like, so I think for anyone doing like the one day liver cleanse, like I've had a few messages of people asking me and I've, you know, I've said, if you're doing the one day liver cleanse, try to like eat as like, you know, like clean and like light as possible before the liver, you know, if you, and if fast, if you can, because I think, um, for me, I felt like, I just felt like my body, as soon as I drank that oil, it was almost like it just had no, nothing to block it. It just like went in, cleaned everything out, you know, like it was just so easy. It was such a like easy transit for it. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think by day three, day two, I had a bit of brain fog. Um, and by day, like day three, four and five, I felt really good. I was like, wow, how can you have this much energy when you haven't been eating? It was yeah, pretty wild. Um, comparing yeah. your your how your symptoms were before the rainbow cleanse versus after, like what would you say was like the most notable difference? Um, definitely. So I've always been prone to like constipation, so not going to the toilet as regularly as I'd like to. Um, so I now go at least every day, which for me, yeah, sometimes twice a day, which for me is like I don't think I've experienced that since I was like kid. <laughs> so yeah, definitely that and. 
yeah, I guess just like energy, having like a lot more energy and just like no symptoms with certain foods. Like I'd get like a bit of discomfort and bloating and things that's gone away. And also my menstrual cycle, my first cycle after the cleanse was completely painless with no bloating, which every month I usually get, you know, that heaviness, discomfort, bloating, just want to hibernate. I felt, I didn't think it was actually, I thought because I'd fasted it may be coming late. Like I'm like, oh, you know, I fasted this month, so maybe it might have thrown things off. So yeah, but no, I got it on right on time and it was, yeah, like the best cycle I've ever had. So I think for women that are struggling with, yeah, like endometriosis or like painful periods that have that, you know, a lot of inflammation in their body, it's like the best thing you could do. Obviously with, you know, get advice from your health practitioner, but that was my experience in a lot of ways. Like how do you create a better self and a better world? a little more abstract um I think a lot of I think as a society we could do a lot more um we could do a lot better without the judgment so you never know what anyone's going through I think a lot of people are really quick to judge people on their circumstances or their choices um when they look know little about that person so I personally um yeah believe we could do with a lot less judgment and yeah just be more kind to people because you really don't know yeah, the life that they're living and, you know, the life that they've lived to get them to where they are. Um, yeah, I think, sorry, you've caught me off guard a little bit. I would just like, would have liked to have thought about that question a little bit more, but um, I'm just trying to think, what was the question again? Sorry. It was what, um, what do you do to create a better self and a better world? Mm-hmm. I think loving yourself is one of the most important things that you can do because you can't love other people and be kind to other people if you don't love and are kind to yourself. So, yeah, I think that is definitely one of the biggest things that we can do for our overall, like, mindfulness, health, spirit, everything like that is just, yeah, being kind to ourselves and talking to ourselves like we would talk to our children or someone that we really deeply love, you know, you know. Yeah, that's so beautiful. I agree with that. You know, it's, that's the whole point of like the feed versus fight nourishment too. It's like mm. the more that you're fighting something, the, the mm. less progress you're going to make. And the more that yeah. you're feeding something, aka you're giving love to something where you're going to make that deeper progress and actually feel the long-standing effects versus just like the short-term burst and then it's over. Uh, yeah. I think that's where we're working towards Mm. people experience that and, and mm. feel yeah and doing things like the zen cleanse because because if you feel good and you're happy that radiates and you know bounces off to the next person and the next person if we're all just miserable in our lives of course it's going to be a miserable society you know so it's like loving ourselves and doing things like this to give back to ourselves um looking after our health and you know that's so multifaceted your health is not just your internal health or external health that you look like it's your mind body spirit soul yeah yeah. And that's why I like to ask people that question of like coming back into alignment, you know, because mm. it's like, it's really that this is not just a cleanse. Like this is coming back to yourself and this is giving, giving back to yourself and also giving back to the people around you. Cause then you're going to be a happier person. You're going to be yeah. feeling better and you're going to be more in alignment with yourself. And that's going to ripple out, ripple out to so many other people. Um, yeah, so this is really just an act of self-love and self-care. Um, and yeah. Also, I mean, I, I wouldn't even say it's like detox because it's, it's not mm. like sometimes I classify detox as like water fasting and doing something more intense. And this is mm. just like nourishing your body so that you can let go yeah. of things that don't need to be there. Yeah, so it's a beautiful absolutely. Aspect of it, so. Yeah, definitely.